This is Colin Mailman out of the midfield and he strikes early. A little shimmy shake. This is Harris, the short stick D midi down on the doorstep and Varian with a nice finish on the crease. Dragons, Varian's bounce shot goes. Drexel with an early 3-1 lead. Does a good job of recognizing a little bit too much pressure by Elcock there. He feels that he has that extra step, and now players are so good at that turnaround shot. That Mailman again with that split dodge. Back to King. Mulcahy finishes in front. Another one for the Dragons. It's 5-1. His offense just hasn't had a lot of opportunities. Kevin Cutnell across crease pass, and it's finished by Devin Spencer. And that pass making that easy skip difficult. Already six saves for Scannoni. That backhand finds it past him. A pretty finish from Matthew Varian, and he has a hat trick. That's a tough one. You know, I think that's pretty good defense. That's, that's, that's where you want to send him. The slide was there. Back up on offense. So that's another kind of double-edged sword there when you have those two-way middies. Mailman gets free, and he finds the back of the net. Colin Mailman's got a pair. Moved along to King. Skip pass across to Fox. Winds and fires, and he finds a corner. In differential between the shot clock and game clock for UMass. Skip pass across. Corralled, and a little twister finish. Charlie O'Brien gets another one back for UMass. Those opportunities to get your hands free. Six seconds on the shot clock, and a late... Shot clock execution from Charlie O'Brien. Nick Roy gets it to Spencer. Back-to-back -back goals for the Minutemen. Didn't see a lot of time for most of the season. Really came on as of late. He scored in his last two games and has really proven himself late as a deflection comes all the way through. Right place, right time for Reed Bowering, and the Canadian finishes. Knowing when to slide. Tobin skips it across. Back out to Philpot, top shelf. Billy Philpot's got a pair tonight. Fox saved by Scannoni. And that's where Scannoni's best, when he's able to see the shot. Drex is doing a good job. Of, I'm sorry, UMass doing a good job of forcing their man into shots. Quickly the other way. Transition gets going. Conley to Spencer. Varian with five seconds left on the shot clock, gets it to King, and he cashes in. Fox pushed out of bounds, and it stays in, and here comes UMass. Conley all alone, stopped by Blumenthal, the freshman. What a save. He is fired up, look at that fist pump. Bro. The 0-1, Blumenthal and the Dragons, 15 minutes from the CAA Championship. Came into this game, number one in assists and points on this Minutemen team, but he was stoned there at the end. Transition chance for the Dragons, Sean Quinn. From downtown Prosik, he's a man up machine. Colin Mailman races in. Backhand finish. Trainer jumping to finish. Jeff Trainer's first of the night. Skip pass corralled somehow by Spencer. With two seconds left on the penalty. One more from Spencer. The last ditched effort on the man up. Coming your way here on LSM between Towson and Delaware. Skip pass across to Marshall King. Another. And they are headed to the CAA championship game. For the first time since 2014, the Dragons will play for the CAA title.